Hello, I'm Richard Ridge. Noel Coward is back on Broadway at the Schubert Theater with his classic comedy, Blythe Spirit, at the Schubert Theater. Under the direction of Tony Award winner Michael Blakemore, the stellar cast includes Rupert Everett, Christine Ebersole, Jane Atkinson, and the legendary Miss Angela Lansbury. Someday I'll find you, moonlight behind you, true to the dream. Well, it's been great fun. It's an old-fashioned play, you know. It's, it's, it's built in a way that plays aren't done anymore, and you have to find the right style to do it in. And fortunately, I've got a group of actors who are very sympathetic to that style and it needs a very quick mind and a very quick and precise delivery of text. Uh, and it needs patience on the part of both the audience and the actors until the plot is laid in and the farce can work. But uh, fortunately with this cast, that hasn't proved a problem. So I'm very pleased with it. I'm afraid I'm rather late, but I had a sudden presentiment that I was going to have a puncture. So I went back to pick up my pump. And then, of course, I didn't have a puncture at all. <laughs> well, perhaps you will on the way home. <laughs> It's so witty, it's so advanced, it's so what we all wish we were. We all wish we had our friends over for dinner and we were witty and had stunning repartee. And I mean, when Rupert says, I, when she said, I forgot my pump, so of course I had an accident. And Rupert said, well, maybe you will on the way home. I mean, they just pile up on top of each other, rolls and rolls of laughter. I want to explain to you clearly, without emotion, that beyond any shadow of a doubt, the ghost or shade or whatever you like to call it of my first wife, Elvira, is in this room now. Yes, dear. Now, I know you don't believe me. You're trying valiantly to humor me, but I intend to prove it. Well, why don't you lie down and have a little rest and then you can prove whatever you want to later on? No, 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 no. She might not be here later on. Don't worry, she will. Don't <laughs> Oh, hush, Charles. Ruth, do you see that bowl of flowers on the piano? Yes, dear. I did it myself this morning. Very untidily, if I may say so. You may not. Very well. I never will again, I promise. <laughs> Elvira will now take that bowl of flowers to the mantelpiece and back again. I don't see why I should. You've been nothing but insufferable to me ever since I materialized. Please. All right. I'll do it just this once. Now watch carefully, Ruth. Yes, my dear. Go on, Elvira, to the mantelpiece and back again. It's absolutely, I mean, it's a dream come true. It's actually surpassed any dreams I've ever had. Why do you think audiences fall in love with this play? Because it's funny, and it's just, you know, and it's about relationships and love, and, and everybody, you know, everybody can relate to it. Try to see my point a little. I, I've been married to Ruth for five years, you've been dead for seven. Not dead, Charles, passed over. It's considered vulgar to say dead where I come from. <laughs> well, passed over then. Well, anyhow, now that I'm here, the least you can do is make a pretense of being amiable about it. Well, of course, my dear, I'm delighted in one way. I don't think you love me anymore. I shall always love the memory of you. Mm. You mustn't think me unreasonable, but I am a bit hurt. You called me back, and at great inconvenience I came, and you've been nothing but churlish ever since I arrived. Believe me, Elvira, I most emphatically did not call you back. That's been a mistake. Uh, well, working with Andrew is great. Uh, I've always been a huge fan of hers, and it's a great honor to be working with her here now and uh, I think she's fantastic in the play and uh, it's the whole cast is a great cast actually Jane, Christine, Susan, uh, Simon, Deborah, everyone is very very nice it's been uh, it's been great. Do you feel funny when you go off into a trance? Funny? Oh I don't think Mrs. Brabham meant funny in its comic implication I think she means odd or strange. Oh well the word was an unfortunate choice. Oh, I'm sure I'm very sorry. <laughs> It feels amazing. It feels so exciting to, first of all, be with this company of actors, to be doing Noel Coward's play, which he wrote to remind people to laugh and to know that life is funny. And um, to be able to be on Broadway and be funny is really extraordinary for me. I've played a lot of different roles, and, uh, and I think I finally hit one that gets to show my funny bone. And I'm with a cast of wonderful people. I know it sounds idiotic, but the other night, during that seance, something happened. I knew it. 
You know that my husband was married before? Yes, yes, I, I had heard it mentioned. His first wife, Elvira, died comparatively young. Where? Here, in this house, in this very room. Ah, ah, ah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm beginning to see the daylight. Yes, hmm? well, she was convalescing after pneumonia, and one evening she began to laugh helplessly at a BBC musical program and died of a heart attack. <laughs> Well, it's rather like stepping back in time for me because, of course, when I was a, a kid, you know, C Coward was the man, and uh, now suddenly he is again. And uh, I'm thoroughly aware of his wonderful humor and wit, and it's marvelous to get to perform it for, uh, you know, a 209 audience. I'm getting a big kick out of it, I really am. Uh, well, this, this is a, a role that many actresses of my years, uh, always want to play Madame Arcati, you know, and I never thought I would, I'd never have the chance, but so when this came up, I thought, why not? I'll leave you never, love you forever, all our past sorrows redeeming, make it all come true, make me love you too, someday I'll find you again.